and all the right-wing cows would be like, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Graham Linehan isn't a stand-up comedian. The reason the writer of Father Ted and the IT crowd has ended up here is down to his outspoken views on single-sex spaces for women, which he believes should exclude trans women. Performing at this special stand-up night, which stands up for a cancelled comedian's right to offend. My conduct is often uh, used as an excuse to, uh, you know, that I shouldn't have a career and stuff like this. When people try and destroy the meaning of, the words, like, of words like woman and mother, I don't like it. His bitter social media spats have come at a price, personally and professionally. The Father Ted musical he'd spent years writing, now shelved, he believes by the production company that co-owns the rights who don't want his name associated, although Hattrick declined our request to comment. It's like preemptive cultural vandalism, you know? It's, it's such a good show. So has the comedy ecosystem become too preoccupied with being taken the wrong way? Clearly, it's popular with audiences. But does it come from a place of paranoia to assume that people who have any influence within the industry are not taking risks? The likes of Dave Chappelle and Jimmy Carr have both weathered the storms of controversy. But it is, of course, harder to assess the impact of cancel culture further down the food chain. <laughs> Organisers of Comedy Unleashed believe there is a creeping groupthink within the industry. Comedy can't really exist without the potential to cause offence. People think that if you joke about race or joke about sexuality, then that is an endorsement of racist or homophobic views. It's a very kind of infantile uh, idea. Did you know that in China the phrase is just a bull in a shop? <laughs> but does comedy need to be confrontational? Quantum Leopard is a night with a no-hate policy. Oh, it's society, it's the woke mob. There's a real tendency to blame factors outside yourself as a performer because they have massive exculpatory value. We're not, we're not going yet. We, we stand. As a people, we are more divided than ever. So perhaps no surprise that's mirrored within comedy, sometimes bitterly. While cancelling comedians like Graham Linehan might hurt their careers, it's not clear whether it's hurting their popularity. Katie Spencer, Sky News.